Good afternoon, my dear UV friends. Um, also, have, Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. And uh, I hope you enjoyed your Christmas um, with all that friends gathering, family visiting must be really stressful. So here we are today on the mat and uh, we are going to have a very uh, gentle, soothing, sitting and supine, uh, gentle hip opening flow just to release maybe um, in this holiday season you are not doing so much sports you are always sitting and eating and uh, you just need a little um, soothing and uh, gentle stretch of your lower body um, all right so I am not going to be talking so much we will be studying this class in the seated position I'll see you on the mat All right, we will sit in our mat in Dandasana, staff pose. Just um, to, you can have your hands press down the mat for a gentle support. Stretch your legs out in front of you and just shape your body in a very beautiful L. We'll stay here, um, take a few breaths in and out and just to let yourself slowly get into today's flow. Relax your shoulders, relax your gaze. Feel the lengthening of your legs, a gentle inhalation. And when you exhale, gently twist your body to the left and place your right hand on top of your left knee or left shin and bring your right, uh, left hand back in the back behind your hip for gentle support. Option here is to extend your left arms all the way back and reach the point, reach the fingertips backwards and counter um, pushing, counteracting with your right hand and your left shin. Otherwise, just stay in this gentle twist. At your next inhalation, lengthen the spine. Exhale, swing your left hand all the way, cross over your right arm and bring it Place it on top of your right knee or shin and round your neck, chin to the chest. Close your eyes. We'll stay here for a few moments in this rounding position. Feel the stretch on the back of your neck. And gently bring the right hand behind you two twists to the right. Option here is to extend your right hand um, backwards and push, reach the right fingertips all the way to the back of the room and counteracting with your left hand and right shin. Gently come back to center. Now let's bring the soles of the feet together and flare out your knees and just let them um, be pulled by the gravity. But don't worry if your knees and your thighs are not resting on the floor as, uh, do, as do mine. Um, mine never rest on the floor, but it's okay. The benefit here, the effect here is to open the hips. So you will have the equal benefits. Doesn't matter if your knees are on the floor or not. Just keep your spine straight. And feel the stretch on the um, inner thighs and the um, outer side of the hip. 
if you feel like it you can also try to reach your chest forward forehead forward downwards to the mat Gently lift your body, extend your right leg out in front of you and place the left knee on top of your right. Just cross over both legs. Left knee is bent still and sit up and tall. Flex the right toes and uh, we'll stay in this half cow pay, uh, pose. Uh, for some of you, if you feel like a little more stretch, you can bring your chest down towards the left side. Flex your right toes towards your face and feel the deeper stretch of your right hamstring. And gently lift yourself up with an inhalation, exhale, change sides, bring the right knee on top of the left, half cow pose, sit, straighten the spine, strengthening and straighten the spine and bring it closer to the right side. Gently lift yourself up. Now bend both knees and push yourself into a malasana. You can move yourself to a bit in front, uh, front side of your mat and squat down. Bring the sit bones, reach the sit bones to the mat, but don't sit them on the mat. Just feel the reach and reach the crown of the head to the sky. Keep the knees open with your elbows and feel the stretch of your inner, uh, inner thighs and outer hips. The twistings we did previously are very good uh, to open up the hips and the lower back muscles so our lower body can be more flexed and opened up. Now gently um, bring the hands to the mat and lift your hips up to the sky. Come into a slightly wide legged forward fold. Big inhale and exhale here and gently bring the left foot backwards left knee down and we'll come into this lizard pose chest up feel this growing muscle lengthened and stretched this is the muscle that is connecting our sides to our mid side body this is the muscle that is normally very contracted, always contracted as we are sitting and walking. So these poses are very good for, uh, very good to stretch out this muscle. And to bring this posture to a deeper stretch, flare the right knee outwards to the right and you can have a gentle press with your right hand to open it a little more to the side. Or lift your right hand up to the sky, gaze up, follow the right hand, feel the opening of your right inner side, your left growing, and the stretch of your right outer legs. Option here is also um, if you want a little deeper stretch on the left side as well and bend the right uh, the left knee and swing the right hand all the way back to hold the left foot 
and gently press the left foot outwards. Stretch the right shoulders and the left thigh. Make sure your chest is open up to the sky. Gently swing. Um, sorry. From here, we will pivot the left knee and then bring your body to face to the left side and place the left foot in a 90 degree angle. Also your right knee at the 90 degree angle. Right foot pointing forward to the front of our room. We'll stay here. Just move the hip forward and back. Feel the flex and loosen up the hip. And gently place the right elbow on top of the right knee. Or if you want to bring it to a deeper stretch, you can place the right hand down from the inside of your right foot while maintaining your body facing right. Open the chest to the right, to the sky, and reach your right, left hand all the way to the front of your room. This is a variation of gate pose. And from here, use your core strength to swing your body all the way up and bring your left hand down to the mat for support and extend your right leg. Come into this half moon pose variation. Knee on the floor. Open the hip. Push the hip a bit forward towards the right side of your mat so that you feel the stretch of your right hip bone. Um, right hip open up. Reach the right fingertips all the way to the back of our room. And from here, swing your body upwards, come into a gate pose. Stretch to the right and feel the stretch on your left side torso. I can even hear the cracks of my bones. I feel like they're opening up. And from here, let's face to the front of our room again and bring the hands on the floor push the right foot a little bit outside to the mat to the edge of the mat and bring our left foot back into a malasana we'll stay here for three rounds of breath Gently place the hands down on the mat, lift the hips, come into this slightly wide leg forward fold. Feel the stretch on the hamstrings. And now let's bring the right foot backwards and bring the right knee down to the mat and come into a lizard pose. Stay in this lizard pose. Feel the stretch on your right growing muscle. Try to bring the hips down to the mat so that the stretch goes deeper. The sensations go stronger. Feel the sensations that your body is um, going through. You know, sometimes uh, your body, your sensations are the best guide to this pose. You can also swing your hip um, side to side. Don't be so stiff in the pose. And if you feel like it, you can press your left knee outwards 
and bring the bring to the bring your left foot on the edge of your on the edge of your left foot and if you feel like so you can lift your left arm to the sky gaze follow open the chest towards the left side or you can hold the right foot and come into a bit shoulder and the right side stretch <laughs> follow whatever your body needs Take in the oxygen, feel the opening of your hips. And then pivot the right knee and bring the right foot backwards to the left side. Keep the uh, left knee at 90 degrees and just lift up the body, swing side to side. Loosen up a little bit. Once you are ready, place the left elbow on top of the left knee or bring the left hand down to the mat while maintaining your body open up to the left, to the right side. And side stretch. Use your core stretch to lift yourself up. Extend your left knee and place the right hand on the mat. Come into a half moon variation. Side stretch on the left side. Open the hips, open the chest. Bring the hips a bit forward. And swing your body up. Inhale, exhale, come into a gate pose. Gently place your right and left um, toes to point forward and bring, pivot your right knee backwards to face forward and bring your hands on the floor from here gently heel toe your left foot to behind your right wrist and bring the left knee behind the left wrist and adjust your hips make sure your right legs are extended out behind you comfortably rest on the mat square your hip and come into a slight back bend. In this here, you can feel the stretch of your right groin muscle as well. This is a very deeper stretch. You can also bring your torso down. We will stay here in this half pigeon pose for a few moments. Feel also the stretch on the outer left hip. It's a very deep hip opening pose, but it's also very relaxed and comfortable. Gently inhale, lift yourself up and sit on your left sit bone, swing your right leg all the way to cross over on your left. Bring the knees on top of each other. Sit your body tall and we'll, we'll, um, we'll come into a cow face pose. This is a cow face pose, not a half cow. Uh, adjust yourself, sit up and tall, bring both feet closer to the hips. You can either stay here, it's already a good um, stretch on the hips, just feel, just like try to squeeze your thighs closer to each other, like scissoring them so that you feel this tension in your hips and the strengthening feeling around your hip and the lower back. If you want to bring it to the next level, bring your, mm, sorry, bring your left hand down on the mat on the side 
and then swing your right hand come into a side stretch make sure that your right sit bone is grounded on the mat if you if your right sit bone wants to lift make sure you ground it down feel the entire uh, uh, right side stretched and if you want it to go a bit deeper round over your chest to face the left side of the floor face down as well make sure your right sit bone still grounded on the floor and you can feel the stretch of your entire right lower back Swing your arms all the way back to center and bring the right elbow beneath the left, cross your hands, come into an eagle arm, cow face pose. You can stay here, try to bring, try to uh, bring away, take away the elbows from the face so that you feel the stretch on your top upper back. Or take inhale, a slight back bend, bring the elbows towards the sky and bring them down, round the back, bring them down and try to reach to your knees or your side. Inhale, lift up. Release the hands and now we'll come into a half pigeon pose on your right leg. Bring the left leg backwards. Make sure that the right leg is bent and 90 degrees or a little bit uh, shorter angle is also okay. You know, just try to place the right knee behind the right wrist and adjust yourself to square the hips left leg extended behind you feel the stretch on the outer right hip a slight back bend so that you can feel the left growing muscle stretch you can stay here feel the sensations of the right uh, the right outer hip and the left growing or you can come down <laughs> Just to feel the stretch of the right outer hip. Gently lift yourself up and swing your left leg all the way across over your right. Sit up and tall. Make sure the knees are stacked over each other and bring the feet closer to the sides, to, uh, to the hips. And well, sit bones grounded on the floor. Sit here or side stretch to the right. Right hand down, left hand up and pointing towards the right side. Side stretch. Round down. Bring the right hand, left hand on the floor, face towards the floor, and feel the entire uh, left lower back and the hip stretched. I personally really like this stretch so much because it's also involved in the upper back, even a bit of the neck and shoulders. It just feels good, really good. Swing your arms all the way to center and bring the left elbow underneath the right. Cross the hands in eagle arms. Inhale, bring the elbows a bit up and slightly back bend and exhale round. Try to reach the elbows to the side or the knee.
Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release the hands. Now we'll come on our back in a supine position. Rest here. Bring the soles of your feet together in a supine Baddha Konasana. Recline the bound angle pose. This is the pose we did at the beginning of the flow, and now we all do it in a supine position. Just let the gravity to pull down the knees. Don't worry if they're out halfway in the in the air, it's totally fine as long as they're open. You feel the hip opening. Hands can be rested on your bellies or on the side of the mat. We'll take five deep inhalation and exhalation here. Just feel the grounding of your lower back into the floor and opening of the hips. Stretch of your inner thighs. Gently inhale and lift your left leg up. Make sure your right leg in the same position in this bound angle, supine bound angle, and place the left foot on the outside of your right knee and open the left knee to skywards. Don't bring it closer to yourself. Open it up and if you, you want, you can also hold the left foot for stability. Make sure your shoulders, both shoulder blades are grounded in the floor. Your upper body, uh, chest upwards, maintain the same. Gaze upwards or to the left. Option here, hold the outer left feet, outer left foot, and extend the left legs, straighten the left leg out sidewards, and make sure your chest still open to the sky. Left hand open up like a T-shape, gaze follow. These twists are also very good for the lower back to flex and release the lower back tension. Gently exhale, release the hand and bring the knees back to center and come back into a supine bound angle pose. Three rounds of breath here. Now lift your right leg and bring the right foot outside of your left knee and open the knee up, the right knee up. Hold the right foot with your left hand and your right hand open up to the side. Recline the half cow pose. It's very soothing, twisting as well. Now hold the right outer foot and extend it to the left side. Come into a deeper twist. Make sure your left, your right shoulder blade still grounded into the floor.
and come back to center. Now bring both knees close to the chest. Press it, press them into the chest with your with the support of your arms. Make sure your lower back is also grounded on the floor. And your shoulders and neck are comfortably on the mat. Eyes closed. We'll stay here for a few moments. And release. Extend the legs out behind you into a shavasana. And next to your body, palms up to the sky. Exhalation through your mouth. Let every stress, piece of stress go. Leave your body. At this moment, your body is relaxed. You are absorbing all the benefits from this flow, all the opening, all the activation in your blood circulation, in your lower body, in your hips, and your lower back. Feel the oxygen, the positivity into your body. Keep your eyes closed if they are not, and just relax here in the Shavasana. We'll stay here for about a minute or so. However, if you want to uh, stay in this pose much longer, you can pause the video and stay in Shavasana. For those of you who are to finish this flow with me, um, come to lay on your side and gently push yourself up into a seated position. We'll meet each other in the middle of our mat in an easy seat. We are seal today's flow, today's class, with a big inhalation through the nose. Exhalation through the mouth. Make your eyes open if they are not. And um, namaste. Thank you so much to be here on the mat with me and uh, I hope you enjoy this hip opening, this very soothing hip opening flow and uh, also I wish you a new year in the 2024 that is about to come and all the happiness, fortune, wealth, health to you and your family members. And I'll see you in the next year.